I'm very angry. <laughs> I'm still angry. Hello, we're watching uh, season one, episode six. I don't even know right now. <laughs> we are six episodes in and I'm still amazed by every episode. There's not a moment that I don't feel is significant or is wasted or is, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, it's all pertinent to the story. There's no wasted time or scenes. <sighs> Love the cast, love the acting, love the music and music direction. All right, let's watch this episode because it is 2.40 in the morning <laughs> I need to go to sleep at some point. Are we going to finally get I'm more on the story? It it's been like the in the background the whole the city. time. How about you tell him what you think that noose is for? Sex stuff. <laughs> what do you want oh, from me? Sorry. We want That's you to take funny. that face. I hope he kills Never. her. Hell, nobody even knows we're here with you right now. This is all hush hush. That seems just the way not safe like for you, <laughs> right? Hey, cheese. Good. Blackmail me. Y'all really went in there with like no weapons, no protection of any kind against a guy who's like known for beating people up to like a bloody pulp. Now, kids. <laughs> this release so we can get your stomach pumped. I can't do it with They're like consent. family though, does that count? So we're gonna see his stuff. Duh. To me, does he look like her? Are they using some kind of like morph thing here? Cause he looks just like her right here. Congratulations, son. Beware of the Cyclops. What? Congratulations, son. Do us proud. Be safe out there. It's gonna be some bullshit. You gonna keep calling me that? If you don't want me to call you officer, you probably should have chosen a different line of work. Right. <laughs> because you are an angry, angry man, William Reeves. I'm not angry. Hmm. This is back when cops used to like walk the neighborhood. Now they're like armored cars. Hey! Hey yourself. I got this, but it's some bullshit. Mistaken identity. That's a lie. I saw him do it with my own eyes. Everything so okay? You have to like yes, argue fine. about this. Fellas, this spook is accusing me of a horrendous crime. What'd you just call our fellow officer? Sorry. Don't I'm apologize fine. to me. You apologize to him. I'm kind of shocked. But Reeves made the arrest. We got it from here. Yeah. Sure. Okay. The fuck was that? What the fuck? Where's that guy? Where's the guy who pent him was like, but where the Cyclops? That was beautiful. That's cool with the door. I like when they do that and stuff. Where is the guy who said, but where the Cyclops? You haven't found him to have a conversation. He hasn't come to you and said, like, listen, this is how it's gonna go down. You let him go. Let who go? The man I brought in for burning down the deli. Let it be, okay? No. I saw them do this to you. There's a whole conversation about cops that know that shit's going on and don't say anything. Probably out of fear as well, but like, damn. Yeah. What good are you doing if you aren't doing good? I'm guessing like all this is bleeding together. A, because I mean, he's obviously traumatized, but like, she took all the pills at once. No, we're good, thank you. Enjoy walking. Okay, well we know he didn't die, so. You keep your black nose out of white folks' business. Next time, we won't cut you down. I just realized. <laughs> He's the hooded justice guy with the noose and everything. With the hood. Stop. I mean, if ever there's time to do it, and now with all the adrenaline and shit running through his system, like, the drums combined with his heartbeat are like... Wow. Yeah, girl. Yeah, the show, he's depicted as a, as a white guy. Mm -hmm. a wow, we're going my horse. back to the first he's scene of the whole show. He's shooting somebody riding after him. Shouting for him to string up the sheriff. But Bass Reeves won't have it. There will be no mob justice today. Trust in the law. Tell me. What okay, happened to the sense. Dreamland Theater? And you Angela puts the black across her eyes. Over while your mama That's crazy. Piano. And if you want to stay a hero, 
Townsfolk gonna need to think one of their homes under it. Makes sense. I love I this so much. Like the whole time we're just said to me at the graduation. You were the in his memories. Where the hell are you and why aren't you helping anybody? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Y'all are useless. This is all one take. Nobody else. Jeez. Stay down. I've lost all ambition. Stay down. All different cities. Mesmerism the for the masters. Is this a scene from the picket? The romaine lettuce. What the fuck are you supposed That's to say? That, was that kind of a scene from the first episode we saw? All that like This shot never gets old. You know what I mean? Like, they've been using this kind of like still circle thing with glass, especially for a long time. But I still love it every single time I see it. Um, Angela, You're not moving, but your eyes are wide open. It's kind of fucking freaky, Angela. <laughs> you can hear what I'm saying right now? I need you to blink. You'll hear me. I'm conflicted. Like, uh, I want her to come out of it. I want her to die or be in a coma. But at the same time, like, I want to know what happens. Tulsa. Why did I think his name was we Calvert or something? Three children. I'm Tulsa, stupid. M1976. Yeah. Three children. I feel bad for him. And he showed, like, emotions. If you don't mind excusing us, I'm hoping to discuss some business with your Oh, business. <laughs> Same girl. You? I'm here on behalf of a costumed adventurer named Captain Metropolis. Guys, you are definitely Captain Metropolis. Metropolis. That's the name of the guy from the first scene. Do these two have a relationship? It's him and Captain Metropolis. The team is incomplete without the hero who inspired them. Put in justice. It's a trap, don't trust him. Mind if I ask, is this strategic mastermind Captain Metropolis blonde? About right? Your... I don't understand what you're implying. You know what I'm what implying. What Cyclops mean to you? Not much. What good are of, you? Uh, sounds like a job for the Minutemen, all right. It's a I trap, I don't like just it. Just when you could have true companionship. Yeah, they're gonna get it on. Well. Something tells me they have a lot in common. Did she not see that she was I'm looking at him? So sorry. Pissed off that he's even considering this. And girl, same. I'll see but she didn't even that. see that, like, handheld, that touch. She's no. like, no. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I guess they told us at the beginning of the episode. Wear the makeup and hood at all times. Yeah, no, we aren't trusting. Like, why are we trusting him? They only care about what you can do for them. I can't Listen to your wife. Tell me about the first time you saw me. Come on, you not again. Tell huh? me. She's the baby. You stop crying. Don't you ever make me start again, William Reeves? Because I'm pregnant. Well, this is an absolute lie. He will absolutely make you cry. I'm very shocked he hasn't made you cry at this point. And I have evidence that a secret plan is being developed. A new crime boss who calls himself Mullock the Magnificent. Mullock the Magnificent. <laughs> She'll listen to your wife. This is bullshit. Wow, he's doing this a while then. I wonder, because they haven't really talked about her dad, so I'm wondering if he picked us up. I didn't talk much during that whole thing because damn, this is so good. I'm just like lost in it. Same thing that always happens when you put a bunch of animals in the same cage. Go on in. You need someone who speaks their language. <laughs> like I said at the beginning of this, it's gonna be some bullshit. Jeez, all these fucking bodies in there. What the fuck? And my head is... <laughs> the mesmerizing. Okay, this. Frequency thing is kind of bothering me. The mesmerizing thing. William, you of all people should know. The residents of Harlem cause riots all on their own. No, no, Dude. this is real. Oh shit. Shit, piece of shit. Shit all over your shit. Have you been drinking? What 
No. Excuse well, you. I'm afraid you're going to have to solve black unrest all on your own. <sighs> oh my god, please kill him. Punch him in the gut and there make him go. vomit and then kill him. This go sounds Let's go to the bad. Warehouse. Isn't this kind of like the I'll one at the beginning? Cut to take home. During the riot scene? You jigs start to blend together after a while. Fuck yeah! God damn it, I blinked and I missed the impact, but I I heard it. <laughs> trash. Probably raising trash people too. They just Y'all slow on the drop. He has good aim, yo. These long shots they've been doing this whole episode for him are like they really like pull you into let's say to oh, we're burning them too. Okay. We're burning them. That's pretty. A kid sees you doing that, of course they're gonna wanna do it. That's like when I used to, when I play makeup, my daughter when she was younger used to love to sit and play makeup with I'm me. I'm like you. No. No. And his like, I don't say rage, but in his like emotional moments is when they play this like, no. No. Yes. Movie. It's like the chaos in his head. I'm still me. Which me? You know I should have done this. No one talking about you with your raves. That's what he meant when he said, it's been a long time since I've been here. So it really was just him. I was going to say, how did he string him up into the tree? But we've seen him walk before, so. Wow. He mesmerized him into hanging himself. How? Like, I mean, we know how. Just the time if I can help you people. When you, as soon as you say you people, like anything you say after that is like nullified. You should so proud of your legacy. Why is it in a closet? Exactly. That's so fucked up. I'm a boy. That has to be hard for her to see that too in the memory, you know, because she loved him. They were close, like close, close. She's gotta get pulled out of this soon. She's gonna be stuck in here. Did he give himself the name Reeves as the last name? Because he was probably a kid and didn't really know that, maybe? Or is he a direct descendant of Reeves? Oh, hi there. She's always so just like, oh, nonchalant. I didn't put that together until like the very last second that his last name was Reeves and the first, the guy from the first episode, his name was Bass Reeves, who was a real sheriff. Did, is he, was he an actual descendant of Bass Reeves? Or, which would kind of make sense because his dad went to the military, he's a cop now, but he also is a cop because he saw that film. Or, yeah, or did he give himself that last name because he loved Reeves so much? He knew his name was Will, you know, because somebody had to say, hey, kid, who are you? He was like, I'm Will Reeves. Because he idolized him. He looked up to, the, to that person so much, you know, and it marks that day impacted him so much that it would make sense that, you know, he would take that surname. I did not write much. In that episode, I was just so brought, like I was writing things down, just kind of like in general, and then I just kind of stopped. Like <laughs> the way they intertwined the memories of things that we've seen already from the first episode and the riot with the things that were happening then to like give you a sense of his trauma and how much that it just uh, was with him all the time. As it should be, well, not should be, he shouldn't have that trauma and he shouldn't have to carry it all the time, but he was living in a time and in this clump of scenarios where, you know, there's still racism and he still had to deal with that on a daily basis as a black person on the police force. The bravery, can we just say. Because, uh, like, just that, especially the scene, a couple scenes where he's on the street and you see the plane drive by drive by fly by in the background like it's with him and he's in a completely different city and then when the cops in the car drive off and you see the bodies behind them being dragged uh it's just and then when they're lying in bed and you see him in the field and you see the background of Tulsa burning as you know him in the field telling the story like it's so beautifully done especially I like the one when he's sitting there with June um and he's she's like you know tell me about that picture and they have them backlit 
with the screen. There's a lot of horse, like talk about the white horse in this one and the safe. I can't imagine, I can't exactly remember what it was said, but is that like a throwback or a reference to Judd having the picture of the Camacho um, people on the horses, hiding behind that white horses, and then he had the safe, the compartment with the hooded outfit, you know, hidden. Um, and then we had the episode, was it last episode? Yeah, the pale horse story. There's a lot of white horse, pale horse stuff going on. And I feel like whatever the building, Lady True, whatever this thing is, it's going to be like a Trojan horse. You know what I mean? Uh, bringing down something. They're basically building a Trojan horse. Because that thing is not a clock. <laughs> it, when he was walking down the alley with that noose still around his neck, I was just like, it, like it just hits you. And then I realized, oh, fuck, he's the original Minuteman. Listen to your wife. Why did he not listen to his wife? Knew that guy was a piece of trash. One... This is not related to him being a piece of trash. I love Stanley Tucci and his voice reminds me so much of him. Like if I had just had to listen to his voice, the cadence, the tone, level and depthness and the way he's like just the way he's like he sounds so much like Stanley Tucci. It's amazing. He's tall and handsome. Um, but yeah, as soon as he went, I'm like, nope, 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 no trash, 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 trash. Last episode we had a reference to the two of them to the justice and captain metropolis being in some kind of relationship and then also at the beginning of the episode with the cops in the room with the justice saying you know we know who you've been doing before they even touched hands you could tell and then when he when he looked at him when he walked in he like gave him like oh you're handsome like kind of he gave him kind of a look his wife, June, she was too busy looking at him in disbelief, like, are you serious right now? You're considering this? She was so focused on him that she didn't even notice their hand touch pause moment. Or maybe she did, and she was just like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. She used the baby in the grass. This whole time, I'm like, what happened to the baby? I love this show so much, and apparently I only have like three episodes left. This whole season was only nine episodes. I, I wrote down so many times, like, this is gonna be straight bullshit. As soon as he... Angela fell into his memory and he's a cop. I was like, this is going to be some absolute bullshit. We're on some bullshittery. <laughs> oh, I have to. I'm going to have to sit. Oh, the mesmerizing thing. Again, could be off base. Remember the last episode I said um, I was worried it's going to be some clockwork orange type shit. You know, where they're going to like tape his eyes open and, and hypnotize him or whatever or brainwash him. Is that the mesmerizing? Is that what's happening in with people watching this video? I mean, because it absolutely could be true, but also there could be some kind of like underlining thing in there to hypnotize them or me, or it could just be they're learning the truth and they accept it. But I feel like maybe they're hypnotizing people because way turning in Angela is just it's such a betrayal. I just don't. I hate it. I hate it so much. I do like that not Jean. Lori was trying to get Angela to sign his papers so they could pump her stomach and get that stuff out of her because man. But I should have realized that she's been okay. One is Regina King and we're following this whole story and trying to figure out shit along with her kind of and they said Lady True owned the patent or whatever she her company all things medical you know manufactured those pills so we should have known that she would have had like an antidote or something to get her out of this so Man, I'm just, I'm so, I'm floored at how good this is. I haven't loved something this much in a very, very, very long time. Every single episode is just, has so much information. I feel like when I get to the end of this and I finally understand what's happening, I'm going to be able to go back and rewatch this a dozen times and every single time pick up on something different. Okay, that's it. It is four o'clock in the morning. That's it. You guys have a great weekend. Stay home, stay safe, and I will see you later. Bye.